it's still October 22nd. I just finished meditating. I've been trying to find a way. I mean, just by coming back here this week, knowing that I was supposed to come back this week for these triggers to process them, to sit with them, and really just having this pull of being, again, transparent, right? If that's what I value, then I need to honor that myself. And I've been thinking about my ex, and this pull that I have Intuitively, really, to tell him the truth about that. Now that I'm here and that I'm being triggered and... More so because I don't want him to hear it from anyone else but me, you know. And I've just been thinking about it, trying to think about how can I do it, how can I do it. As I've mentioned, I can be a little too much sometimes, a little too blunt, or a little too overwhelmingly, like just too much. <laughs> Whether it's too, too blunt, or too emotional, or too... I mean, I don't think I've ever been too explosive at all, really. I was actually talking to someone, and they're like, you've never had like makeup sex? I'm like, no. <laughs> they're like, really? I'm like, no, just... I, I never had, there was always fear of rocking the boat, really. There was always fear of rocking the boat just because of the environment that I grew up in and, and how arguments were handled and, and, and it never ended well. It always, like I just, I never, it never felt like it was a good ending to an argument. If anything, it just it was a built up of something else because people weren't speaking their truth. And if they were, it was out of heart. It was out of hurt, right? Hurt people, hurt others, sometimes unintentionally. So I never gave myself the opportunity to be mad in my marriage. Never gave myself the permission to yell, to speak up. And when I did, it was every few years and it was all bottled up energy and it would come out crying, really, emotionally crying and, and just emotionally vomiting this overwhelming amount of information. <laughs> And, you know, my poor ex was, like, trying to digest it all. And it was so much that he would just shut down. And I remember just feeling like a fly on the wall. And not being seen. Not being heard. It's not a good I thought about him while I meditated today. And every time I thought about him, I saw the movement. So I was like, okay, I need to say something. Just how? So the movement that I saw was the colors. It was, it would get really dark, purple, and then it'd go back to light. And then there was just this movement. Um, just this movement, just movement really. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary, no patterns like the other ones, just, just movement. But it was this upward movement, like a yes type of feel. Like that's what I need to do this week. Tomorrow really, because tomorrow's Saturday. I'm gonna go see him and his family in the afternoon. 
And I think I'm gonna tell him again. I tried telling him a couple days ago in the sense of like, I had tried telling him before of what I shared. I mean, by the time you guys get this video, you've already known the big secret, right? Of what one of my many purposes is. And I had shared that with him when I called him after the person from my past reached out to me, apologizing, I realized I needed to do that also. And I had reached out to my ex and I shared with him what my old colleague shared with me about her vision about me. And, and then I said that, you know, if, this, if I'm entertaining that this is true, then you did nothing wrong in our marriage. Everything turned out exactly as it needed to in order for me to learn the lessons in order for all of this to untap be unblocked slowly right because sometimes people will feel regret in relationships that didn't go as planned or as they hoped or And the funny thing is that I always saw myself alone. Unattached, really. Even while we were married, like I prepared myself for it. I even kept one of his shirts. <laughs> he would clean out his closet every once in a while and I picked out a shirt and I said, this is the shirt, the one shirt I'm gonna keep. That reminds me of him. I'm actually gonna take that shirt back with me too. <laughs> but I remember that like I just knew so so I tried telling him that over the phone and you know a little emotional. I think more so when I would tell him that he did nothing wrong everything turned out exactly as it needed to with hopes that you know he forgives himself so when we went out to dinner this week I brought it up to him again and I was just sharing with him just some of my you know just updating him really after he shared and telling him about my dreams and this karmic cleanse that I'm doing clearly <laughs> with this process. But I asked him, do you remember what I told you about what my friend said? He said, no. I don't know why I'm not surprised, right? I mean, I, I was hurt, but he didn't remember. And I cried on my way home. But then a part of me is like, why, why are you crying? You know that. You expect that already. Because that's how it was. You know? I wasn't seen. I wasn't heard. In those 14 years, I really wasn't. Not at the level that I needed to be seen, that I needed to be heard. So he didn't remember, so I reminded him. And I said, you know, with this YouTube channel, I'm bearing it all, you know, from childhood up until the present moment. So if you ever have any questions, let me know. If you ever choose to watch it, let me know. I don't feel like he got it, so I'm gonna say it again tomorrow, but this time, I'm gonna push it a little more and see if he's open to hearing my truth because I would rather him hear it from me than anyone else. While still stressing that everything unfolded the way they did needed to unfold.
same as UB, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe, we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey, um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and you, that you find some type of truth for yourself or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best. And